be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm actually going to be going over some beat arrangement cheat codes in Logic Pro 10.8. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, I'm going to be showing you some tips, some tricks that you can use to arrange your beats into song format. So I have this beat right here. I'm just going to play you some of the uh, basics of the beat and um, then we're going to go over everything. Cool. So now that we kind of got a vibe for the beat or kind of got a, you know, idea of what the beat sounds like, let's go over some super tips that we can use to arrange our beats. Now, the first thing is going to be to identify what parts going to go where. Usually, I would recommend not even worrying about the drum part yet. Just focus on the actual melodies. So I know I have this beat, this part right here. That's going to be pretty much the main part. And now what I have here is I have this sample uh, that I created from scratch and then I have like a you know, it goes up an octave and then it goes down an octave. And what I did is I put on this beat breaker program, uh, plugin, excuse me, and it turned on half time to make it go like an octave lower on this one. And then what I have is these other samples. These are pretty much um, like droning sounds. This one does the same thing as this octave higher. So like what I would do here is I would say, all right, cool. What part is going to go for what? And I usually always start off with the intro. So I'm just going to have it starting off kind of how we started in the beginning with the 808 and then this first sample. And so I'll just go ahead, push command A, push command R. And what that's going to do is double it. Command A just highlights it. Boom. So this going, you know how you can do it that far, just like right there. And then from more from here, what I'll do is just highlight all the parts that I don't want in the intro by holding down shift and then push control M to mute it. So like what I'll do now is like I said, I brought in some some of the drums just to kind of get it rolling. And I'm just gonna push Command T to like chop it right here. Kind of give it a little pause before it goes into the hook. So now I'll come over here and push Control M to mute this part out. You kind of can see what I'm doing. I'm just like taking off the certain parts. So now for the hook, what I want to do is I want it to be like different than the verses. I want it to you know easily be identified. One way to do that is like with the octave up type trick here. So, um, you know, I already had a sample right here and I just pitched it up all already. So that can easily go for the hook and then again with the kick coming in as well. That's cool, but then to merely bring it home, you want to bring in another sound, which is going to be this little sample five. So I'm going to bring that in for the hook. And then what I'm also going to do, just to make sure that the hook is building as well, I'm going to take out this first sample and then also the kick, pushing command, I mean, excuse me, control M. Cool. So now that we have a hook down, pretty much, I'm just going to, you know, mute this part out. And now we don't even have to worry about that hook anymore. We know that this is going to be a hook every single time. Now to make things easy, what I do is I click over here. 
at the top where you see this down arrow and then that's our tools you can go over here to color and I would just recommend maybe changing that out to a different color you can make it whatever color you want you don't have to necessarily do the colors but it just kind of easily helps me identify what's what I know that this blue is going to be the intro I know that this purple is going to be the hood now I just immediately focuses on the uh, verse now we know the verse is about 16 bars but I'm going to focus on each half of the verse first so what I usually like to do is take out the kick on the first half so I'm going to mute that out. And then what I'll also do is obviously these sample parts. We're going to keep those kind of like out of the beat for right now. And then what I want to do is just give some different variations to the different samples here. So like maybe might have it come straight up in with just this regular sample. Um, might have it swap to the high pitch one. Then it's going to swap to the low pitch one and then go back to the old one, so like or the original one. So hopefully they didn't throw anybody off too much, but that's pretty much what I got going. And then what I'll also do is just go ahead and take all the drums out on this last one. So let's just listen to it and see how it sounds. I'm having like halfway through the hook and let's go. So you kind of saw me do a couple things here. I played around with taking out this hi-hat right here. You want to leave some room open for, you know, the artist to do different stuff. So now that we have pretty much the intro, the hook, and then one verse, I can take this hook right here and then also this verse, and I can highlight these and then push Command-R. That's going to double it up so we got our hook here, verse, hook, verse. Usually I, I like to have maybe like three hooks and two verses. So I can take this out and kind of turn this into the outro take this end marker put it in and then two I kind of like let it play kind of like how the intro comes in so um, you can just do something simple like that so we pretty much have a basic structure of the beat right here there's some more cheat codes that I'm going to get into um, but let's just like listen to how this is gonna kind of come in first. cool so I kind of made some changes in the first verse another thing what I would do is after you double that and everything and get the verses I would go ahead and make some changes to this second verse so maybe instead of this first sample coming in you can have uh, like maybe the high pitch one coming in and then you can swap it some of this stuff out and it's gonna easily make sure that um, the set like the beat is has some variation so now let's listen to it
Okay, cool. So the last cheat code I'm going to really tell y'all about is going to be adding variation um, to the actual like drum patterns like every four to eight bars. So like for instance on this first, um, I, I usually like to say with the 808, you know what I'm saying? It has this like boom, boom, boom. You want to come in here and maybe add some variations, other variations with this. So like one thing you can easily do is come in here and just chop it up some. So like just check this out. Then I can come in here and change up the 808 a little bit. Shift option up, make that like a high pitch one. Come out here on the kick too. Pushing Command T to chop these. All right, bet. so now like, cool, we have a different 808 pattern. So now what I can do is literally just kind of like rearrange these um, on the second verse. So maybe put this in one at the beginning, hold down option, put this middle one right here, put this one here. This one here, I think I did that right. Let me just try that again. So I said I want to put this one right here. This one right here. Yeah, I think I did that right. Okay, cool. So now we're going to still have some dope variation on the 808, but then it's going to pretty much be swapping stuff out, like, you know, just add a different variation. So at this point, the beat's pretty much almost done. What we can also do is do, like, some filter sweeps. Um, one quick way to do that is like literally come over here to multi effects, go to remix effect, stereo, and you want to turn this to touch. And so like say at the beginning of this verse, we can now put a filter sweep right here. So I'm going to start it here and I'm going to gradually move the mouse up like here. And then like I could come right here and I once this plays, use this stop effect, like tape stop effect. Let's check that out. So 
So we had that on that. And if you wanted to say, do the same thing with this second sample, we could do that as well. Let's turn that to touch. And it pretty much those are like the tips and the cheat codes I wanted to tell you. Um, pretty appreciate y'all watching me um, and also, you know, getting subscribed to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, you want to make sure you go ahead and do that. We have like over a thousand videos that you can watch for free. We also have other resources that you can actually pay for on my website, Beat Making Basics, man. We have anything from like drum kits, loop packs, um, um, melody kits and stuff like that. We also have courses that have whole full curriculums and everything in there and mixing templates. Or you can go ahead and get the Beat Making Master Bundle that comes with every single thing that's on our site. Thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.